How did a rogue group of hippie scientists debunk Albert Einstein and save science? Check this out. Everybody knows that Einstein made a few huge mistakes, but none bigger than his interpretation of the very nature of our reality. You literally believe what you do about your reality because of Einstein. And he was wrong. Einstein refused to believe in quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, you know, the most accurate theory in the history of science? See, Einstein was a rigid materialist, a self-described local realist. And this belief was reflected in his theory of general relativity, which states that everything in our universe is constructed of and the result of explainable material processes. Space, time, and matter are all that there are. The idea that matter is fundamental. Einstein hated quantum mechanics, calling quantum entanglement spooky action at a distance. He couldn't reconcile this with his theory of general relativity. And after he dismissed quantum mechanics, the study of it just kind of faded away. Enter the fundamental physics group. This esoteric group of eccentric hippies believed in idealism, that instead of matter being fundamental, consciousness was fundamental. Then in the 60s, the fundamental physics group picked up the work on quantum entanglement by physicist John Bell. They helped to salvage and then prove his theory. The fundamental physics group was into psychedelics, psychic powers, and believed that consciousness could affect this reality, which was exactly the opposite of what Einstein believed. So when they helped resurrect John Bell's work and prove it scientifically, it meant that Einstein was dead wrong. Why don't you hear about this? See, there is a conformity of thought with how science is done at the top level. Those that promote rigid secular materialism are paraded around as champions of science, like Albert Einstein, while those who teach or discover information contrary to this philosophic materialist agenda are silenced. It was literally Einstein who convinced us that we are living in a material world. At the root level, quantum mechanics teaches us that the consciousness of man affects reality. Apparently, people in charge don't want you to know that. Einstein's rigid objection to quantum mechanics delayed our understanding in this field by decades. Computer science relies on quantum mechanics. Every computer, the internet, your smartphone are all possible because of quantum mechanics. And his bias-based deduction about the nature of reality affects how you perceive your reality. Maybe Einstein was wrong on purpose.